errors that do not affect the trial balance let's complete transaction by transaction on 1st jan 2007 motor vehicle expenses of 200 was entered in the motor vehicle account so how are we going to correct this error so this occurred on 1st of jan 2007 it was a motor expense therefore motor expenses you debit by 200 and you cannot enter it in an asset account therefore you have to remove remove it from motor vehicle account so motor vehicle account credit by 200 on 11th purchase of office furniture 100 was completely omitted from the books what did you purchase you purchased furniture Therefore, furniture account debit, and maybe the payment is through cash or bank. So, cash or bank credit. So, this occurred on 11 of Jan 2007. You debit the furniture account by 100, and credit the cash or bank account by 100. 21. Sales returns account was overcasted by 150, and purchases returns account was overcasted by 150. Remember, sales returns it has a debit balance. When it's overcasted, you have to bring down the value. Therefore, you have to credit it. Whereas purchases returns. it has a credit balance you want to bring down the value therefore you would debit it basically you you credit the sales returns and you debit the purchases returns remember always the debit entry comes first therefore let's put the entry now this was on 21st of jan 2017 purchases returns account debit by 150 whereas sales returns account credit by 150 let's move on to the next transaction which was on 23rd Sale of goods 1,200 to Anne. So, in this case, you credit the sales account and you debit Anne's account. But the mistake was, it was entered in the debit of Mahath's account. Now, you're supposed to remove it from Mahath. Therefore, you have to credit the hex account and debit an account. Now let's move the entry. This was on twenty third, and TR debit by one thousand two hundred. My hex TR credit by one thousand two hundred. Last transaction, cash purchases of 130 was entered as 310 in the books. The cash purchases, the usual entry is cash you credit and purchases you debit. Now it is overstated. You have to bring down the value of cash, therefore you debit it. You have to bring down the value of purchases, therefore you have to credit it. The so purchases credit. Cash debit. Remember, the debit entry comes first. <coughs> This is on 31st of Jan 2007. Cash account debit by 180 because you take the difference and the purchases you credit by 180. How did we get this 180? The difference between 130 and 310. So it was overstated by 180.